In my last episode, I told you the whole story of how I found the Badger family, how much time I spent finding them, and how desperate I was sometimes. Yeah, I know, it probably was boring, but this time I'm gonna show you what my old trail cameras recorded. It will be very amazing. Welcome to Magic Wood. This is the Badger family, which I found and I am watching for like 5 months. This family has at least 3 or 4 members. I think 2 of them were born this spring and you could see them in my previous videos where I showed you my first Badger videos. These were the babies. As you will see today, they grow older and they look like adults already. Most of the time they were out only during the night or late hours. They spent time playing, exploring the area and again playing. There was a funny moment when one of the badger started to run and he bumped right into the small tree. All they want to do is just play. If the badger doesn't uh, have a will to play, the other one tries to provoke him. After some time, I decided to make a really good quality photo of the badger. I knew they are out only during the night, so I have to buy a better trail camera. So I did. But this camera has not such wide angle, so I was forced to install it in a different way than my older trail camera. I had to spend much more time in front of their den, which I don't like to, because 
I was afraid they will know I was there and they lealed the den. I was doing my best to do it as fast as possible and suddenly I heard some strange sound. I had to have my head really close to the ground near then. I got very weird feeling that Badger won't be happy about my presence there. I continued installing the camera and then again. I felt like I saw movement in the den. I thought to myself like, relax, it's just your imagination. I looked into the den again and there was it. I saw a badger there. He was making some strange sounds and I felt really bad about the situation. I quickly done my job. I had to install the camera very low like it was on the ground and I left the place. I hope they won't leave because I would felt really, really bad about it. I didn't go there for a week or so and I felt really bad about it. But I realized something. It wasn't a good idea to leave a trail camera so low, it was raining a lot and also the badgers. <laughs> they could destroy the camera too. So I went there to change camera and my priority was not to disturb the animals anymore and I was satisfied just with photos or videos. I didn't care about photo. I came there and my camera was dirty, quite damaged by their teeth and also nails. I quickly uninstalled the camera and installed the old camera there. I was so happy they didn't leave. And there was something more. Badger photo and video during the day. That day, when I left, the badger came out of the den. Now, take a look how they were checking my camera. I noticed that they didn't like the infrared lights. They were probably too strong for them. It was better camera and also it was very low. Before they didn't care about camera and light. I was really glad that I came there and changed it because it won't be good for the badgers.
what I like the most about this project is the beauty and joy when I was watching videos of playing badgers. They just don't care about anything. They live their lives and they are happy. It makes me happy too. I am part of their family and the fact that they didn't live seems to me they accepted me. They know I was there because their smell is excellent. Watching youngsters playing and enjoying moments with family was really nice. What do you feel when you watch this moment? A lot of videos from May were like this. Badgers playing during the night, searching for food and exploring the area near them. All of these videos are really valuable for me and it means a lot. I got the chance to see and be part of their lives here in the Magic Wood, in the place where I love it so much. This is part of wildlife photography which is very amazing and you learn straight from the nature itself. You see what animals do when it rains, when it is hot, and what they do when you sleep in your bed at home. The best part is they don't know they are being watched. I don't disturb them, I just let them live their life. That is what I appreciate the most about it. It is very amazing to watch these wild animals. They live their life and they are wild and free. I am very pleased for this opportunity. I am looking forward to further observation. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.